What's going on, you guys? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, and your coach of the Austin Agrons. Getting ready to get into our next PUBL, Pokemon United Ultimate, not United, Pokemon Ultimate Battle League with Raging Caterpie and the Rockford Rayquazas. I'm gonna go ahead and send him a challenge, see what we uh, see what we get. I'm really, I'm really wondering if Caterpie is gonna be bringing the uh, the Mons that I thought he was gonna bring, like the Veltal. Okay, we called it. He didn't bring the Zygarde. He brought Darmanitan. Okay. So, he did bring Umbreon, and I feel like we're pretty much prepared. He has the Sableye. He has the Sableye. Oh, he has the Sableye. That's, that's... Okay, so, if you guys are hyped for this, uh, for this battle here, if you're hyped for the team, you want to show your love for the Austin Agrons, then go ahead and be sure to smash that like button. One good time for the video, because, you know, Channel 4 is brought to you in part by the love and support of the Precious Gems that you guys are. I don't know who to lead in with first. Uh, I'm assuming that he might want to go with Sableye if he's going for a Prankster Calm Mind lead into the Mega Evo, or... I'm... Ivaltal? And... I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna actually do this really quick, and I'm still, yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm trying to think, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm here, so, you know what, why don't I, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna move, I'm just gonna move, why don't, actually, we could, all right, so he goes into the Sableye. I should have just thought to go into Mistress right off the bat because we can click Taunt. Not worry about a damn thing. So, assuming that Jade... Okay. Oh my. Oh my. He care. He does... He actually carries Will-O-Wisp on this thing. He actually carries Will-O-Wisp on this thing. Wow. Um... Holy shit. That just kind of changes everything. We could go into Kami. We could go into Kami. Let's go into Kami. See what... And there goes the Calm Mind. So, I'm going to sub. I'm going to sub up. D-Pulse. Okay. I'm Deep Pulse isn't Dark Pulse, not Dragon Pulse. Hmm. We could go we could go for another sub. Just to bait out what he's gonna do. I really wanna get this dragon tail off so we can get him to switch out. Okay. It doesn't look like he wants to switch that much. Dude, the question is, he's got a plus one. He's got a plus one. I'm just gonna click Dragon Tail. Ooh, and the Great Wall takes it with a critical hit. Who? Who? Okay. So, we gotta find some way to bring this back. Bring this back towards our, our field. With Umbreon, he can either go into Toxic, he can go for Wish. Uh, protect foul play. I don't see a dark pulse coming from him, honestly. He wouldn't wish either, especially being turned six, not two. But it's too early in the game to see or to say that he would go for a wish, basically. He could go back into Sableye, he could go into Evaltal. The thing that we have to do right now, though, is that we gotta find a way to get Gusto King in there so we can get our rock set up. The second we can get our rock set up, we can damage Yveltal, we can damage Darmanitan and Excelgore at any time that they try to they try to get in. If we can keep, if we can preserve 
Kami, if we can keep Comex out there too, then we can get a lot of switch initiative going on our end. Okay, so he goes into the foul playing little shit that Umbreon is. I'm gonna go for a fake out. And do I want to T-wave it? This is, okay, so I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna let, uh, this motherfucker probably has recover on, on Sableye too. So we see Dark Pulse, Calm Mind, will o -Wisp. It actually might have Shadow Ball. It actually might have Shadow Ball, so we'll just sack off Mistress and that's fine for now. I bet it's bold. Is he gonna go for another Calm Mind here? And we get a crit! And we get a crit! Hey! So he tried going for the Willow. The Willow Smith. And is he in kill range? I don't want to run damage calcs. I really want to run damage calcs. I don't... I don't have Dragon Tail on Comex. I have Dragon Pulse. Oops. Actually, at this point... We go for the very, the very simple... Scald, it's stab, it's stab, and it's stab. That's, all, that's the main thing that I'm having going for me right now is that it's it's a stab move, and it's a stab move. We can, it, worst comes to worst, we get the, the Scald burn off as well while it lives, and then that's uh, that's worst case scenario. Or worst case, worst case scenario is that we get Scald, it doesn't kill, it doesn't burn. Best case scenario, Skull kills. So, best case scenario, and I was actually thinking, what's with all the crits? Crit after crit after crit. Uh, let me go ahead and click Toxic just to have residuals done to the... He missed the play rough. He missed the play rough. He went for the play rough and he missed it. He's missing. Bitch, you missed it. Now we scald. And we see the citrus berry. Who that kinda hurt. That kinda actually hurt. That kinda actually really hurt. Was he running belly drum on this? He can't belly drum now. And I almost want to swap into Gusto King. But Question is how much damage? would Gusto King be taking? Not to mention, uh, the Azumarill's not gonna, it's, it's gonna live the next turn. I should just go. Is this the point in the game where I have him by the balls, basically? <laughs> Uh-oh. We want to take that, that timer off. And I, only reason why I say we, we might have him by the balls a little bit, because now I can just fire scald at anything. He does have the Umbreon here, and he could either he could go for protect scouting my moves, or he could go for toxic. If he goes for toxic, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be very bad. Cause we definitely need Comex to stay alive. Did I pick Cross Chop? I did not pick Cross Chop. This is why I want to Cross Chop, but he has the Mega Sableye, so I'm glad I don't have Cross Chop. And I don't have a heal beller either. I want to keep Godslayer in the back as well. We could get the U-turn. We could get the U-turn off, but I'm gonna switch. While he goes for the wish, okay. So I'm gonna click Earth Power. Nothing. No! Oh my god. So now something's gonna have to catch a burn. Something's gonna have to catch a burn. Some... <coughs> the question is, what do I want to catch a burn? I thought that, I thought that was gonna kill. I thought that was gonna kill. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill. 
I can't go into Ravager. Kami is literally my only option to, to take a burn. He has Recover! Okay. He has Recover. So Recover is his fourth move. Yo, how can we eat this? And we get the special defense drop. That's good. That's that's astounding. Astounding that we get the... So he could be predicting that I'm going to be going for... Another substitute? I think he's going to go for Calm Mind. He's got enough health. He can recover it back. He's going to be getting that minus one back. And he's going to be getting a plus one in his special attack. Damn, that was a lot of rhymes. What we could do is sh Dragon Tail. There we go. Dragon Tails, Dragon Tails. Gonna switch out with the Dragon Tails. Okay, so now we see Kakashi. Kakashi Sensei. Uh, come out. What do we do with the Kakashi, though? Kakai Sensei! We could, we could Shadow Ball. Or we could Will-O-Wisp, which I don't... I'm gonna, I'm gonna Shadow Ball. I wanna see, we're specially defensive. We have 372 special defense. We can take a hit. Nothing, not, actually nothing in Excel Gore's move pool, I think, hits. Why does he want me to Dragon Tail everyone? Oh, priority. Foul play. Oh, I see you. Heal Bell. And you miss the Dragon Tail. So, we find out Umbreon's fourth move, which is Heal Bell. That's good because we don't have to worry about inflicting status. Or it inflicting status on us. Now, us getting any kind of status off, honestly, when Mistress was burned, Thunder Wave would have been the best move to go for, even if he had Heal Bell. Ooh. So, weighing out options again. He could go for foul play. We get hit a little hard, not too hard because we're not we're not invested in, in a physical attack at all. Are we? Yeah, we are. I'm a liar. We are. We so are. Yeah, we're we're eight invested in attack. He switches into Azumarill to soak the Encore Iron Tail. And I go out into Gusto King. Holy moly. No, that that's not how that, that goes at all. Oh, okay, and we get the rocks off. I'm glad I literally just took a shot in the dark at that one, and I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did it, you guys. I'm glad we did that. Oh, that does a lot more damage than I thought. <clears throat> We're gonna have to let Kami go, and once we let Kami go, that goes our, there goes our defensive core. We didn't have much of a defensive core. Kami was the wall that held us all together, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna willow it. Why would you miss, Kami? Why would you miss? Why would you miss? <sighs> so, now is our time. Just just flying all over the place. We click. <sighs> Wild charge. He protects. He's got the bulkiest fucking mon in the game. <sighs> One of the bulkiest. I, I have the bulkiest mon in the game. <laughs> um, what do we do? This, this is the problem that I was that I was really wanting to not run into. Nothing's gonna still appreciate a wild charge. Oh my god, he eats that up. He eats it up. So hoping that he goes for Will he go for Protect again? Because at this point, I think I, I'm pretty positive I do outspeed. 
Yveltal. It's just a matter of getting the Sableye killed. And... The Darmanitan. No, we still have to speed the Darmanitan uh, if he's Choice Scarfed. So it's just a matter of... I'm Choice Banded. I'm Choice Banded. I can't... <laughs> I can't just click any move. Okay, so that's a problem. Let me go ahead and click Wild Charge. I was gonna say maybe we could get. It's right. It's time. He's gonna. He's gonna protect. It's our time. It is that time. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna click Tail Slap, hoping. He doesn't go into Mega Sableye, and that we can hit. We can if we can get the Umbreon out right now. If he doesn't switch into Mega Sableye, because he wants to foul play this thing, but he could go for a free protect. Damn. Uh, I can't toxic it because. You're gonna you're gonna go into Sableye. You're gonna go into Sableye. Oh shit. You can't or you can't not go into Sableye. Unless you don't obviously you don't know if I'm banded. You don't know if I'm banded. But on the off chance that I wanted to go for another tail slap, a stab move, then I would click tail slap again. And I hope I'm right into going into Comex because Comex is going to be able to. It's going to suck if it gets burned. It's going to suck if Comex gets burned. But. We're running out of options at this point. He is stalling out our team. And as much as I hate stalls as a mechanic in the game, but he's stalling out our team. His, I don't think his Pokemon have taken any damage at this point. There's... The Darmanitan hasn't even came at... Darmanitan! Oh, well, you know what? We did get the crit on the Excel Gore. Azumarill. Okay. And no burn at all whatsoever. Hey, so we have Death Fodder. We got one down. We at least got one down. But we have Death Fodder now. Excel Gore is out. What is he gonna I think he's probably gonna click Giga Drain. Yep. And Excel Gore definitely outspeeds. We could honestly. He could have Expert Felt. And God Slayer is our only option. God Slayer is literally our only option to switch in. Because he could one shot everyone else. Can we, we'll be able to take a hit. But Mega Sableye's... <gasps> Mega Sableye's not that much of a problem anymore. So literally, we just have to play carefully. I might use Electivire's... There we go. <sighs> so we're at 61% with God Slayer. If it's max, oh god, if it's max speed, it's scarfed. This Darmanitan is scarfed. This Darmanitan is scarfed. There's no reason why he would go out into a, a Sinchino that just used Rock Glass if he's not scarfed. He's scarfed. He's scarfed. So, 
that's gonna wrap up our battle. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's gonna wrap up our battle because... Yeah. And, yeah. So, good game to Raging Caterpie and the Rockford Requazes. It sucks that we got another L this week, so we are one in three now. And, uh, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click Ice Punch. And say GG. And, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I, there was a lot of misplays. I, I feel like, I, in the back of my head, like, I was, I thought to myself, Sableye has Will-O-Wisp. But, I didn't think it, because a lot of Mega Sableye sets nowadays don't really use Will-O-Wisp, because... It's all about going straight from Prankster to Magic Bounce and ditching the the support moves that it normally carries, like Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, uh, Toxic. So I really didn't see that coming. I should have. I did see it coming, but I did not voice it. And it sucks. But you know what? We're gonna do our best to do better next week. And I don't even know. I'm not. I'm. I'm really bad with the schedule. But we'll be finding out who our next opponent is, and when we do, we're going to do a team prep, and you know that we're going to have a good battle. So thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. Show your love for the awesome Agrons. Awesome, awesome Austin Agrons. Go ahead and show that love. If you're new to the crew you want to stay tuned in to Channel 4, go ahead and click subscribe as well. And don't forget to comment what you thought of the battle and what you might have done, what you might have done differently. I would like to know so I can uh, improve and think of uh, think of think of some good some good team suggestions. Also, uh, let me know what other, what other team suggestions who you would have had for my draft in this team in this battle. So uh, yeah, that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Channel Four. I'm your host Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace.